same test. This is test A. Um, so the first question is, why might the roller coaster be going slower at position 5 than at position 2? So what I'm looking for here is um, the fact that these two positions are at the same height. So if we're losing potential energy, gaining kinetic, um, then by the time we get here, we're going to have a lot of kinetic energy. All of our potential will have transformed into kinetic. And then as we go up, it turns back into potential energy and then back into kinetic again. So if there's no friction, these two points should have the same amount of kinetic energy. But as uh, the roller coaster goes along, um, there's going to be friction acting on it, which will slow it down. Another really good response is um, some of the potential energy was transformed into thermal energy, or some of that kinetic energy is transformed into thermal energy, and so it loses some of that velocity. Um, and then looking at these calculations, um, what I'm looking for on each of them is the formula, plugging in the numbers, and then our final answer with the units. If you missed units, then you just missed one of those points. If you put down the uh, wrong equation, then you um, may have missed uh, a couple points because then you would have done the uh, problem incorrectly, unfortunately. Um, but so if, if we're looking for kinetic energy, then we want to use our Ke equals 1 half mv squared. Being careful to make sure that you're squaring the 25. The 25 is your velocity or your v. And our mass or your m is still 35,000 uh, kilograms. And units for energy are, of course, joules. Then we get to this one is momentum. Momentum is not energy. Um, and so we just have mass times velocity, and our unit for momentum is actually just kilograms times meters per second. This is 35,000 kilograms times 25 meters per second. And we don't have any um, fun name for the unit for momentum like we do for joules for energy or newtons for force. There isn't anything... Um, for momentum, it's just kilograms times meters per second. Uh, then you got to your gravitational potential energy. It's just mass times gravity times height. Still, mass is 3,500, or excuse me, 35,000 kilograms times gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, times 12 meters for the height. And that gets us. Uh, 4,116,000 joules. And then when we get to our total energy, the only types of energy we have here are actually kinetic and potential. We don't know anything about the uh, thermal energy, so we're just going to add those two numbers together and we get our total energy. And then last, um, when the roller coaster comes to a stop, what that means is the velocity of the roller coaster is zero. So, we would have Ke equals one half times the 35,000 uh, kilograms times zero meters per second squared. Anything times zero, even if the zero is squared, is going to be zero. So that would just be zero joules here.